Hopefully that sets up. There we go, now it's on. It says... It says live. You are live. We are see live. see the first one is in the room on this fine Tuesday afternoon. I'm like a poet and didn't even know it. I swear if we didn't have to do this on Tuesday, I would never know day of the week it was. That's true. Oh, Linda. First one. What's up, everybody? I wasn't showing anybody. I was like, oh, nobody's coming in, huh? Hey, y'all, F cancer. <laughs> Agreed. Sippy sippy y'all. So how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody is amazing and having an awesome day. It is a beautiful day here in Dallas. Slightly on the colder side, but it's beautiful. So the pieces from yesterday, let me just show y'all. It actually set up harder, faster than the other resins that I've used. Um, this is the one that we did just the clear coat over. And it is pretty fabulous. No flaws really. There was a bubble. It's right here. It's too tiny bubble, so you can't really see it. I'm blurry. Still blurry. And then the painting set up like this. Those are really interesting. Very much like a sea fan. And it's set up really well too. The only thing that I don't like about this resin thus far is that there's a lot of overflow and it could have absolutely been from the amount of resin that I used or the fact that it's a no heat resin that I ended up putting heat on. I don't know, but I'm gonna find out from just resin what part of this was my fault. Because I'm sure there's some kind of operator error in that somewhere, but I'm going to, um, I'm gonna use it again and see What's up? I wish this wasn't so blurry. Find my face. Find my face. Find my face. Y'all, did that really work? It did. Just don't hit that. <laughs> you did hit it. What up, y'all? So, yeah, that's the resin from Just Resin. It is their one to one high viscosity. Oh, another thing that I liked about it is that. You know, on a lot of resin pieces, it kind of gaps and thins out like this when it rolls over an edge. Um, on this one, it really held together quite nicely where that runoff is. I mean, I don't know if it's because of the amount of runoff. Or the, uh, the canvas was a used canvas, possibly. I don't know. I'm, there's, I need to do another test. But... 
it's a good product. It's still in like their production and uh, trial phase, but I think they have something really great going on to, down there at Just Resin Laboratories. I think Mary's gonna come in on here. My friend Mary Wilcox. Okay. There's Mary Jane. Is that her? No. So. There's Mary Wilcox. There she is. Hey girl, this pour is dedicated to you. I'm blurry. We're doing all pinks. I'm gonna throw a little gold in there. Everybody, this is Mary Wilcox. Hey Mary. She is going through some things. But she's going through them like a trooper. Yes. She's she is a 100% trooper. What's up, y'all? Um, Trudy, we, if I can find the space, we'll probably carry it for sale here in the United States of America for y'all. All right, what we're going to do, I'm going to need quite a bit. This is going to be a very large pour. I wish we had those bigger cups. All right. I didn't even put the kind of resin I'm using on it. I don't need to do that. Hey Eva, I'm glad you're here. What's up, Lisa? So, um, Jeffrey is mixing up. How much? I'm gonna go ahead and put the resin in the description box. Is that right? I'm gonna do 20 ounces. Hello from Morocco. What a cute little kitty you have. So you're starting with 20 ounces? Yeah. Word. These are very large canvases and I don't want anything to go wrong. Let me show you guys the canvases that he's gonna pour on. That's them. What, what, what's wrong? I'm blurry on this camera. But it's fine on this one, so I don't know what the deal is. Um, that sounds exciting, Joe Fish. What's up, Christy? Hey, Molly. I told Jeff I wanted to do a cast in my boobs before surgery and have them paint it for me. We could do that. I said I would do it. I don't know how to do the casting. You'd have to do that and then bring it to me. <laughs> I don't do I don't do casting, but we could mix up. Some, we could do a test of something and something. Christy, I saw your purchase. I'm waiting on my star sticks to come in. They should be in today, and that's the last order I have to send out, except for um, the winners' pieces. Feeling adventurous, are you? Um, Jeff had this wild and crazy idea and we're gonna go with it. That's what we're doing today. Right here in front of y'alls. So B, what made you be inspired to do a super long super swipe? It's because I've always wanted to, I like, I like the, 
linear of it. Is that the term? Mm -hmm. I've always liked. I just like to see two two pieces that make one image on a wall that I've done. Like it, it's such a a skinny piece that. I don't know, it's just, I've always wanted to do it. Um, I why not a better time for right now? Exactly. Joe Fish, yeah, she's having boob surgery for this very awareness cause situation we've got going on. Beyond those have gone out. Draw a little unicorn, draw. I love that name. Welcome to the fan. So nice of you, Gail. So the deadline for the October challenge is, I'm pretty sure I said the 12th, which is like two weeks from today. Yeah. Two weeks from today. All right. Okay. I have no paper down. I'm feeling like a rebel. You rebel, you. So. What's up, JJ? Um, the Moo Gallery, um, I think one by one is the smallest. We'll do some pink. You can mix in other colors. It doesn't have to be just only pink. It just has to be mainly pink. And it can be a watercolor, alcohol ink, acrylic pour, resin pour, just some kind of fluid work. That's so sweet, Eva. Thank you. It is the pink challenge. And it's going to be. Do I need to mix some things for you? Um, I'm thinking so because. We might need to just mix more resin because I know this is not going to be enough. Did you prep your canvases? I did. What did you use to prep those? You can tell them. But I don't know what you did. <laughs> I just painted them with uh, white, uh, flat white latex. I haven't sanded them because I'm going to leave it just a little rough so it has a little texture. Maybe pick up some different texture lines in there to do some tilting all right um what's up tia that works for us joe fish it so is a diptych tank. mary um this, does it this. say diptych in the title i hope that yes. it does what's the length That's of that in total 12 by 72. so that is a 12 by 72 inch canvas And what were, what were we using? Oh, the dust. The uh, gold dust. Where is that? It's right there. Is that it? This little thing? No, no, no. His is a little more sparkly, right? Yeah. Just the stone coat. It's in a bigger package. Oh, right here. I know, but I don't want to use one that we can sell. Okay, well, where's it at? Well, I'm looking. It used to be just over here. Y'all, I need a studio organizer. Who's in Dallas that can do a studio organization? Well, we can. We just have to do it, babe. Okay. I, I got faith in you. Oh, you got faith in me to do it? Well, in us. I was gonna say, you're waiting on me to do it. So you said you need me to make some more white? I don't know. This is this is the one for the white. I know we're not gonna use that much gold because Which this one's stuff your gold? Will take over right here. That's okay. I'm just this is gonna I don't wanna put a lot, right? No. I would even say that that's way too much. So. 
Um, Paula, the Just Resin worked really well from last night. I will show you guys at the end of this how it turned out. And my thoughts are moving forward with that product. I didn't see Tia's last piece. I'm gonna have to look it up. So. Whichever one. What? It's a little bit much of the gold. Okay, don't we don't have to use that. it all. I know, but what if you, you could allocate do? the resin somewhere else. This is your piece. I'm just gonna sit here. Always taking over, babe. Always taking over. Now is that enough? Yeah, I'm just trying to help you though. <laughs> Maybe I know. Yeah. I'm just giving you shit, babe. Just giving you shit. Is that enough? No. You gotta put a lot in there? Yeah, think of it like glitter. You guys, this stuff is, it really looks like. It looks like gold dust. I need some fancy ass black chunky glitter. Are you looking for holographic glitter or just regular? Marion, the challenge for this month is breast cancer awareness. So do your best pink flow piece and then use the hashtag ATDART on any social media. I will find it and you'll be entered. Yes, the windows are open. One of them all the way over there. I'm going to show them. I'm gonna bring this over here in the mean and in between time. Oh, stone coat. Okay. It's like sparkly honey. It's like you got to kickstart the white base. My hands are so good. That's why. Kill them. can't even like see it on camera it's so sparkly the gold is gold dust from stone coat however I just ordered 25 of them that I have 25 gold dust 25 diamond dust 45 that black and 45 this white available right now on the website have a good night beyond i know car alarms everything yes geodes do count we are gonna um, move the stone coat into like a squeeze bottle container um and i'm thinking about also offering those on the website we'll see What's up, Paula Wall? The gold is not 007. It is gold dust by Stone Coat. Misty said, if you put a little bit of Vaseline around the lid, it won't stick like that. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> I'm sure we'll be here, Megan. Do you need me to mix any more white or clear or anything? Um, we're gonna need a base, right? Just a clear base for... I would, I would do more white and a clear base if it were my piece. Thank you. What up, Dawn? That's what she said. You got me. You got me. Y'all, next month we're going to be up in Oregon doing this in Stone Coat's actual, like, studio space. That is bananas.
Also, we're hosting like a pumpkin noise. carving contest. I mean, it's definitely a lot lighter, but. Super similar bean. Put some. I think you should maybe put purple in it to darken it or something. I don't know. Um, what up, Clara? I hope all of you guys are having a phenomenal Tuesday. It's a gorgeous here in the Dallas. Mm, it's lighter. I love the look of that glam pick Jeff did, that kind of fancy ass black glitter. What did you use there? Oh, it was um, just glitter. Hmm? That was just glitter. That yeah. was. I have some. Give me a second. Let me mix this up and I'll grab it for you, Tia. Thanks, Don. She said great camera angles. We are going to need some warm clothes for Stone Coat's trip. I feel like we just bought, like, clothes for summer, like literally two months ago. Okay, I did. It's finally not hot as hell in Florida, but I'm sure it's still beautiful. Yeah, Mary, and Mary is, she's a great one. She doesn't let anything get her down. She's a survivor. Hi, Daphne. She rocks a bald head like nobody's business. She does. She's gonna give you a run for the money. All right. I'm scared. So Tia, we use this Createology glitter. It's like a medium sized glitter flake. It's and then lot. we also used. Should I just go put this down on there? Um, yeah. Maybe save a little bit for white if you can. And then we also used in between there this extra fine glitter by recollections because when you're working with a big space like that it's hard to evenly glitter areas so we use that recollections to get in other crevices what's up vamp hi paula from south africa i would love to go to south africa one day Hi, Zori. Sherry said, Jeff, don't be scared. Let loose. Let loose. I need to change this from autofocus. Hi, Moose. Yeah, there aren't a lot of, but we have two South Africa people. I know there's not a lot of options there for paints, but we ship. Teresa, can you believe these people want me to work at work right now? Don't they know ATD's on? Love it. Oh, like a heart. Same Gail, it's on my bucket list as well. All right. Shoot. Zori, this is a 12 by 72 diptych. So a, I guess 12 by 36 one. times two. Yeah. Lisa, where are you vacationing at? 
hopefully somewhere amazing, which I'm sure it is because vacation, what could be not amazing? It was as exactly, customers have ATD radar. They just want stuff when y'all are on. Rude. Daphne, packing up art stuff is more difficult than packing up anything else on the earth. I'm pretty sure. I'd rather ship an elephant than pack up my art stuff. That sucks, Daphne. I'm sorry. But everything happens for a reason, if I may be so bold. And you will probably end up in the most amazing position with a whole bunch of new opportunities in your new spot. Positivity for the win. Um, that sounds tropical. For sure, Lisa. That'd be awesome, Paula. The gold does dry that sparkly. This is it in the um, the bag. Please hold. It's a literally. It's not chunky glitter, and it's not extra fine glitter. It's like a pigment glitter mix, and it's definitely. Super sparkly. You can't, it doesn't even want to show you guys on camera. I want to do a, a big swipe. Like, I want to just go like this. Should we do that? Like, can we just pull it and go whoosh, and then maybe whoosh, at two couple different angles? Well, that's awesome, Daphne. It is, Trudy. So when you say shwish and shwish, you mean? I was literally gonna take just one big piece of paper and just like drag it all the way down. Or should we, I was just gonna put it all at the top like we do the swipes and. I don't know that it's gonna last you the whole way, but yeah. that may look cool as well. Here's a swipe clean. So, the way I was looking at this project, I thought it would be neat if you like did like a motion of swipe and just continued it on instead of a straight. What does that look like? Down. You got the corner of the table, but yeah. It's just not. It's fine. I can't take it. Like. It's good. Hold off on questions for just un momento, y'all. Un momento. <gasps> Almost lost you. True, Clara. Oh, and with kids? Yeah, that sounds stressful. All right, so. Should we do paper? Or the swipeys? Think those are big enough? I don't know. It all just seems like a bad idea now. Now I have all these ideas going through my head. Well, we have time. It's not like it's, they're only this big. So maybe, I don't know how wide of a swipe you're trying to do. If you're trying to pull it all the way down. Kind of or... like, just... All right. So. Yeah, it's a well large canvas. I don't know that that's a great. Right. Yeah, they're, they're seeing that. 
when you check. You're just like flipping it around. You're saying move it slowly. Yeah. All right. So should I just put it on like you do? I don't know if you want a. Are you trying to do negative space? Or are you trying to do. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't think I've enough of the negative space. I should make more. Did you make more? You dumped it out. Um. So, we're at, what, I wanted, what I originally thought is I was just going to put it. Put it all up here, and then put the white, right? Mm -hmm. the white goes back here. No, white goes in front. And then do a little bit more right here, just so that when it, it does, it'll just kind of blend in and then just go. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to need more white. All right. I'm going to mix that up for you real quick. Okay. Welcome back, Clara. Sherry. So while I'm over here, y'all, is there anything that I can answer for you while we're doing this or yes or no? They said it's already pretty. It looks like the breast cancer ribbon right now. Yeah, I know. I, I honestly, I did not mean to do. <laughs> I just started going this way, and then I kind of went the other way, and then, yeah, I I didn't really mean to do that, but it happened. So should I just lay a whole line of white right here, and then kind of? Because I'm picturing. Here's the thing about the white. Where you put the white is going to be the direction that your swipe's going to go. So if you put the white right here, that means you're intending to swipe the color this yeah. way. So if you want to swipe that way, just like put it there, even if it goes over this, it's all going to swipe. Do you see what I mean? Can you mix color and stone coat? white base tint. You can, but it's going to be a cloudy version of that color. See what I mean? Because it's such an opaque white. I mix the black into colors all the time to deepen it up a little bit. Jeff is channeling energy for all patr patrons of breast cancer. I have a feeling this is going to be awesome. Just wondering how you're going to keep the dust out of the piece as you're working. There's, um, there's really separate. no way. We're, We're going to have to just the, the we'll pick it out as we go. So with this size paper, it looks like you're going to do a big swipe. Yeah. I'm confused at why that doesn't go. Because it's not sharp, you have to do it at an angle. Do you have the white over here? So.
Get your pink on, Jeff. So remember not to let too much lay down on it. Eat, sleep, drink, art. Love it. I didn't put gold down. Okay. You can do it after. The suspense is killing me. Maggie, what's up, y'all? Thanks. Thanks for the thumbs. It still looks like a giant rhythm. Flamingo paint just looks so nice.
I'm not liking this at all. <sighs> I should have just poured it all on there. Alright, so what do I do? I'm just gonna put some. This is. Do with this drizzle it on, or you know, I only do thin lines of it, so right. that is not a line. Why is this not coming out of here? Because it's cold. Are you gonna just pour everything on there? No, what do you want me to do? I don't try to do something. Don't just like dump everything out. No, I don't know what you want me to do. There's not enough resin on here. Do you want me to mix you some more resin?
I hope you're getting more happy with it because not like that looking piece. This will be just a resin piece that like had to go through the struggle. looks like pink marble. the questions right now y'all. I'll be over there in a second.
Clear on the system. What kind of do you want to use just that kind of gold or the other gold? Yeah, I want to use the same because it'll look different. Um, I will show you guys in just a second. Um, how last night's turned out. You want all of this as a goal? Yeah, I, I just want to make some lines. Like, I'm going to. I just kind of want to kind of blow it in. And Mary likes a piece, so you should give. <laughs> Mary is a super positive person. She's very, she's always happy.
an amazing day. Mary said, I don't know shit about art, but y'all are awesome. So glad I joined in today. Y'all have already made my day better. Just right. Here's twenty dollars. Oh, thank you very much, Laura Taylor. Thanks, y'all. Just 
trying to make all of the survivors proud. Making y'all <coughs> proud is what we love to do. I really appreciate that, you guys. A great lesson in perseverance. I like how dark and then it goes light. Mm -hmm. You really mix up a good color with that pink. It's like a bright color, but it still has good depth. And this, like, waterfall you got going on through here is nice. just clear coated you can see it's super super glossy kept the colors really vibrant even after we sanded it down looks amazing had a little bit of overflow but that's sometimes to be expected not a big deal there's only one bubble we found in the top of it so it was a great test. It's relatively hard. Like I put my thumb down and we just did it last night. So like with art resin, for example, if you put your thumbnail into it the next day, you would see a really big like crescent where your nail went in. This one, not so much. 
So, and then the painting that we did, it had a lot of runoff, but I used a good amount of heat and it was a piece that I had painted on before. Something I really like about this resin is that where, like on this one, it's really deep color and then it thins out expectedly because gravity. Um, this kind of, it kept a really rich color even down to the overflow here. Like on the sides, it didn't really thin out that much. So that is something I'm really excited about. I got a lot of really interesting effects in it. And it ended up glossy as well. And has the same dense surface that doesn't leave scratches, as far as I can see so far. I've only used this piece, I mean this resin, a couple of times for those two pieces. And then I did another test with the resin and absolutely no heat. And there was just a little bit of runoff, but that's not so bad. And it was absolutely stunning on the top of it. Complete gloss. And then the other little coasters I did with my leftover resin. All turned out really nicely. So for this one, it looks like it had a, a stroke, but still, what the test was about was how the paint did in the resin and how well it sets up. I gotta say, it's a good looking resin. I want to do another piece. I have enough resin left over. I only used, where's my, can't see. So there it is right there. I only used this much resin um, in both parts. So I have plenty enough left to do another piece. I also have a low viscosity sample that when I get the okay, I will do a test on that as soon as I get the all clear. Yeah, the gold looks really good. Um, the tiles. Okay, come here. Um, we got those from Fireball Denise. You can get them from Home Depot. The only thing is on the edge, there's that little. Well, you can't see it on these because I put so much resin, but there's like a little lip where you like put the two together, you know, when you're actually tiling things. So, yeah. Erin, we are actually doing the class here in Dallas. I'm sorry. We are doing a meet and greet and demo in Grants Pass in November, if you can make that. If you have any questions, honey, just shoot me an email. Let me know what you need, what you're trying to achieve. We're happy to help all the time. I'm sorry. Sherry, um, the archery gold is really good gold. It's very, it's, it's pretty similar to a few of the golds we've used before. It is very nice for sure. Archery has good products. I have some. That I can test for y'all. That I have like probably a week's worth of product tests that I need to get moving on. What else can I share with you guys? Um, we do have Stone Coat products on our website now. 
and I will be refilled on all of my amazing just resin colors that I back ordered on shortly. Come here. I should have those back in. Um, they've shipped. They've cleared customs, so it should be not too much longer before I have all of my amazing just resin paints back in stock because I am out of quite a few of them. Huh, no. He agrees. Aaron, I did get your email about the liquid gold leaf and I have ordered some from Amazon. As soon as it gets here, I'll be product testing that as well because it does some pretty awesome stuff. Bye, Joe Fish. Have an awesome time. Oh, Moose. Give Jeff a glitter kiss. He did good. I will. Um, we're going to create some magic. Don't forget to tune in tonight to Stone Coat's channel at 5 p.m. our time. Nope, 5 p.m. their time, which is 7 p.m. our time, I believe. And um, read all these things. And shoot me an email or text or a Facebook message if you have any questions on anything. We're always here to help. I got to take this little boy out before he pees on my feet. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you all tomorrow. Not same time, but same place. We'll be on tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central United States, Dallas, Texas time, which would be five hours from right now. Anyways, um, we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. I said bye. He said bye.